All right, this tutorial is going to show you how to update Google Cardboard to Google VR. Currently, version is 0 0.85. There's some upgrade instructions here on uh, Google's site. And uh, let's go through that real quick. There's some things that I'll talk about that Google hasn't mentioned in their release notes. For an example project, one of my earlier videos was how to make the Google VR sample shooter game work with Google Cardboard. So I am going to just use that. There's a link to uh, Dropbox in that video. And so I'm going to import that package. Okay, now that I have that Unity package imported, I should be able to go to the Shooter 360 scene. And this should be a working Google Cardboard game. I don't remember what version it is, 06 or 07 or something. But it's Google Cardboard. We need to update it to Google VR 0 0.85. Here we go. Now in Google's upgrade instructions, they say open a scene that doesn't use have any Google VR functionality and then delete the Google VR and the plugin directory. There's something you probably should do before that. And what that is, is on link the prefab connection for your cardboard main or your player object break the prefab instance that is game object break prefab instance and here's the reason why when you create your player you probably use cardboard main which is a prefab in the cardboard folder and then you may add some scripts with some values onto that prefab and if you delete the cardboard folder, that prefab is going to go away along with all of your settings. There's a better way to do this. Select your prefab, cardboard main, and say game object, break prefab instance. This is going to let us save all of our scripts and our values when we delete these folders. Now, Google says to open up a scene that doesn't have any cardboard functionality in it. I prefer to close Unity completely. Um, in fact, do it because there's these errors that you'll get with the audio engine and whatnot because you have to set the project settings audio. And there's a spatializer plugin, which is the cardboard audio spatializer. But if you find yourself with audio errors, these you know audio plugin errors, after you've deleted the cardboard and plugins folder, the reason why is because you probably need to have Unity closed when you delete those files. So I need to delete my cardboard and my plugins folder. But before I do this, I'm going to make sure that there are no prefabs that I need to unlink before to save data before I delete them. So now I delete the cardboard in the plugins folder and I'm ready to import Google VR 0.85. I have it right here. Now something really cool is going to happen. When you look at your cardboard main you're going to notice that it's still intact and the cardboard script has been replaced with GVR Viewer. And you'll also notice that the heads, cardboard head has been replaced with GVR Head. And the audio listener has been updated. So what I'm going to do is rename cardboard main to VR main because it's not cardboard anymore. And I'm going to press play and see what happens. Everything is working as expected. So, now I've updated my project to Google VR 0 0.85. It's working. 
and life is good.